What up everybody? Back again here with our perimeter unit. Today we're going to be finding the missing side of our shapes. So let's get around and go see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to find the missing side when given the perimeter by using my visual model. So we're going to be using our tape diagrams, our part whole model that we practiced using last lesson today to help us. So we're going to quickly go over our math vocabulary, just in case you weren't with us last lesson. That way we have a common understanding of what we mean when we say perimeter. The perimeter is the total length around the edges of a figure. So if I want to find the perimeter of this rhombus, all I need to do is find the length of each edge or side and then add them up because that would be tell me what the total is, right? When I'm doing perimeter, I'm adding the sides or the edges. Yesterday, we did that using a visual model. Instead of writing an uh, addition equation with 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, we put our add-ins inside our part whole model, and our sum was the total of our visual model. So I have four equal groups here of 3, and I would just add these up. And when you do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, you're obviously going to have a total of 12 centimeters. So my perimeter for this rhombus would be 12 centimeters. That's what we did yesterday. But before we can talk about our skills for perimeter today, we need to rewind. <laughs> and we're going to rewind back to when you learned about what an addition equation was. There are two parts to your addition equation. They're the add-ins. Those are the numbers that you're adding and the sum. That's your answer, right? So I mean, 2 plus 2 would give you a sum of 4. Yesterday, we did questions where there, we had three add-ins or five add-ins, right? So we did 3 plus 1 plus 2, and the answer gives you a sum of 6. And to do that, instead of writing the add-ins in an equation, yesterday we used a part-whole model, okay? The add-ins are the parts you're adding together, and the sum is going to be your total. So if I wanted to represent 3 plus 1 plus 2 in a tape diagram, I would do 3, okay? I'd have one little piece for one, because that should be about, three should be three times bigger than the one. And then I would have a two over here. And I put a question mark, because I'm trying to find out what is the total. And obviously that would be six. So instead of writing it in a traditional equation, we're using a part whole model in this unit to help us solve addition questions. Why is that important? Why are we doing that? Because today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be solving for a missing addend. We're gonna know the sum, we're going to know the other add-ins, whether it's two or maybe there's even three other numbers we're adding together. And we're going to be looking for what number makes this equation true, what number makes it balanced. And how we're going to do that is we're going to be using our visual model. Okay, So here I have my part whole model. I know that part of it is four. I know that a big chunk of it is eight, but I don't have my missing add-in. I do know that the total or the sum of all three of these numbers is going to be 15. Well, how do I solve for that question mark? The first thing I want to do is I want to combine what I know. So I know 4 plus 8 is going to be 12. All right. If this part is 12, how can I figure out this missing piece? Well, you could take 12 and then guess and check to figure out 15. Or when you're solving for a missing add-end, what you can do is you can subtract what you know already get rid of this 12 which leaves you with 3. That means your missing piece has to be 3 because when you added 4 plus 8 plus 3 all together now that will give you a sum of 15. So to find a missing add-in you can rewrite this as a subtraction problem using your fact family knowledge. So it says Elon drew a rectangle with a perimeter of 28 centimeters. What is the width of Elon's rectangle? So my statement's going to say the width of her rectangle, or the width is blank centimeters. When I go back into my word problem, I'm looking for anything about centimeters, or if it's talking about width, I might be looking for the length, or maybe it could be area or perimeter. So it says Elon drew a rectangle with a perimeter of 28 centimeters. What is the width? And then they already gave you the picture. So you're looking for this side right here. Now here's the key thing, you know so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label all the parts of my rectangle that I already know. If this side of my rectangle is 10, I know my attributes of a rectangle tell me the opposite side is going to be congruent. It's also going to be 10. And then whatever this side is, this side will also be. Because I know I'd be adding all of these up and it should give me a perimeter of 
28, I'm going to make a part whole model to help me. So here's my part whole model. I know the sum of all my sides is going to be 28 because it told me that's what the perimeter was. I know I have two sides that are both 10. All right, so I'm gonna make this 10 and this 10. And then I have two other sides that I don't know. So I'm gonna make two equal sides right here and I'm going to have a question mark for both of these. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out what pieces go inside of this question mark. Well, if you needed to, you could guess and check. You could just put a one there and a one here because if the one width is one, the other side also has to be one. And you could do 10 plus 10 is 20, plus two would be 22. Well, that doesn't work. And you could keep going that way. Or what you could do is you could use your addition and fact family knowledge to help you solve this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine what I know 10 plus 10 is 20. So I already know that when I add these two parts right here, that's gonna give me 20. So that means I'm looking for these two missing sides. So if I subtract my 20 from my total, I have eight left for these two sides. So 10 plus 10 is 20, that gives me eight centimeters left that I need to do. Well, if I have two equal groups and I have eight left, eight divided by two is going to be four. If I have two groups of four, that's gonna give me eight. That means my missing width is four centimeters. So the picture is already drawn. I plugged it into my visual model, my tape diagram, and then I solved for the missing part that I didn't have. Let's take a look at a we do problem. So here it says, Ladasha drew a rhombus with a perimeter of 16 inches. What is the length of one side? So I'm, my statement's gonna say, the length of one side is blank inches. I know that it was a rhombus and that the perimeter was 16. It's important that it's a rhombus because my attributes of a rhombus tell me that all of these sides are going to be the exact same. They're all congruent. So when I make my part whole model here, all right, I know the sum of all of my sides is gonna be 16, that's my perimeter, and that all of my sides are equal. So what number, if I added it together four different times, would give me 16? If you're not familiar with division yet, that's okay. What you could do is you could guess and check. You could put in one for each of your sides, add those up, well, that'd be four, so one doesn't work. And you could go to two and then do three that way, and that's totally fine too. But because I understand that I have 16 and I'm trying to split it into four equal groups, I know that 16 divided by four is four. That's my basic fact I learned all the way back in third, at the beginning of third grade. That's my basic fact I learned all the way back at the beginning of third grade. So each of my sides is going to be four inches. So the length of one side is four inches. Again, they gave me the perimeter, they gave me the total already. I plugged it into my part whole model and then I solved for the piece I didn't have. Here's your you try problem. If you're ready, you can pause the video at any time, try it out and then push play to check your work. If you're not there yet, that's totally okay. You can do it with me as another we do problem in your notes, which are in the description of the video, by the way. Hopefully you just paused it and now you're checking your work. So the question said, what is the length of the missing side? So my statement's gonna say, the length of the missing side or the length is blank centimeters. So I'm looking for anything about centimeters. It says Maddie May drew a triangle. That's important because that means three sides with a perimeter of 24 inches. So the total of all my edges I know is 24. Ooh, there you go, try to make it straight. I know two of the sides, I'm looking for my missing side. I'm going to draw my part whole model over here to help me visualize my addition equation. I know the total of all three sides is 24, and I know that one of the sides was six, one of the sides was eight, and I'm looking for the third side. Again, now all I'm doing is looking for this missing piece. So I'm gonna add up what I already know. Six plus eight is 14, and then I'm thinking to myself, okay, 14 plus what equals 24? Well, if I get rid of the 14 in my part whole model and subtract it from the total, that leaves me with 10, which means my missing piece had to be 10 centimeters. What we want you to take with you today is that you can use your addition skills to help you solve perimeter problems. You can use your fact family skills to rewrite the addition equation as subtraction to help you solve it. You can use your part whole model to help you figure out these missing pieces.
Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. We'd love you to check out our area and perimeter song. Again, thank you so much. Instruct the Beats, out.